let's look at this uh, box trail uh, related uh, based on fractions. So what they're saying is the middle box is a whole. So the whole is given to be 240. So if we use a blue color, so what they're saying is the whole of something or the whole is 240 grams. So you want to use this information to find all other fractions in different boxes. They're all related, connected. So let's go from from whole, if you want to find half, you divide by two. Half is one half. So well, if half of if whole is 240, half would be 120 grams. Okay. Now here a quarter is a half of a half. A quarter is half of a half. So from a half, if you want to find a quarter, you do the half of the half, which is 60 grams. And one eighth is half of a quarter. So half is a half of half is half of a whole, quarter is half of a half, and eighth, one eighth is half of a quarter. So again divide by two, so which is thirty grams. So if you know one eighth, you can find three eighths. So that means in three eighth there are how many lots of one eighth? There are three lots of one eighth. So times it by 3, so that's 90 grams. Okay, so from a quarter, you can same way find 3 quarters. So 3 lots of quarters, so 60, uh, 60 times 3 is 180 grams. Okay, so if you think in, the, in this way, 3 8 is half of, so let me write, 3 8 is half of three quarters. Half of three quarters is three eight. Okay, or if you want to if you learn multiplying fractions, so three eight is same as half times three quarters. Half times three quarters. Okay, so those who can understand fractions is not difficult. If you half three quarters you get three eighths. Or if you do half of a quarter, you get eights. So half of three quarter is three eights. Okay. And that's how you can check that this does make sense. Now one third of a whole is dividing by three. If you divide the whole by three, you get one third. So this is 80 grams. And one sixth is half of a third. So divide by two which is 40 grams. And 5 sixths is 5 lots of 5 sixths. So times it by 5, so 40 times 5 is 200 grams. Okay, we're almost there. Now 2 third is double of 2 lots of 1 third is 2 thirds, so which is 160 grams. Okay, and 1 fifth is, of course, dividing by 5. Okay, so so this is 240 divided by 5. So let me show that in this separately here. Yeah? 240 divided by 5. I would struggle to do 240 divided by 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double both of them. So if you double this, times it by 2. I can also times this by 2. Uh, does it make sense? No. 48. Uh, so 240 divided by 5, yeah. So I'm double. So this is, let me show this in a different way. 240 divided by 5, you can write like this. 240 divided by 5. So you can times this by 2. If you times this by 2, you can also times this by 2, which is 480 divided by 10. 80 divided by 10, so the zeros cancels out, so it's 48 grams. So this is 48 grams. 48 grams, and one tenth is half of one fifth, or one tenth you divide by 10, so that also makes sense. And one tenth is half of one fifth, so divide by 2, which is 24 grams. 
Now from 1 tenth you can find 9 tenths, so you have to times it by 9. So 24 times 9, so let me do it separately, 24 times 9. I would struggle to do 24 times 9, so I know well 20 times 9 is, I know 2 times 9 is 18, so that's 180, and then I go 4 times 9, which is 36. So this would help me to say, well, 24 times 9 would be this plus this. So this is 180 plus 30 is 210 plus 6, which is 216 grams. So this would be 216 grams. And 4 fifths is times 4. From 1 fifth you can find 4 fifths. So let me do the working year. So year 48 times 4. Okay, which is... 40 times 4, which is 160, and then you got 8 times 4, which is 32. So this is 160 plus 32, which is 192, yeah. So you have got all answers. So if you think, okay, you've got left out one of this, so times it by 3. So 20, 40, 60 and 12, which is 72.